Gabriel here and today we are going to learn how to extract PDF table data like the data on this table here from this PDF document and export it on a CSV format. So we can see the document here. It is a multi-page document. It's only one document we have for today. The last page is just a blank page. And we are going to learn how to extract all that data here and name the file with the invoice number on a CSV format. So the first step is to get into ChronoScan and create a new batch and create a new job for that batch. Let's call it PDF table job and click next. We don't need IntelliTag nor barcode. We leave them unselected and then click next. We have multi-image documents. We will be splitting them manually and then we will click next. We won't be needing all those fields. We just want to extract the invoice number. So we just delete all the other ones. We highlight them and then click on the delete button here. And it, we do it for each field. Now we have the only one we need and then we click next. That section won't matter much because we will be exporting to a CSV file. And let's make sure we have everything we need set up here. It is right, so we just click finish. Now let's create our first batch, PDF table batch one. There we go. And we hit create batch. Now we are ready to import our files. We just, we just drag and drop them from the Windows Explorer and click yes. And here we have to make sure we have the convert pages to image selected. The resolution should be around 300, 300, 400, it's very good. I will leave it on 300 and extract text from PDF selected and then we hit OK. For this kind of work, what you will want to do is to import the first file, make sure everything's all right and then import the rest of the files. I can't show that today because I only have one file but you should insert first, import first one or two files and then after you have everything set up, import all the other files and then process them. The first thing we notice after importing is that we have that last blank page here. We just select it and then click on the delete button here. And let's take a look at our files. Let's start extracting data. First thing we're going to do is open that first page here. We double click it and it will open. And let's look for the easiest part first. Let's get the invoice number. We click on the field here on the form view of our panel. We click it here and then let's make the zone on the invoice number here. And there we go. We have it set up already. Next thing we want to do is to create a grid to extract all that data here and on all the other files. You can see they are all basically the same, the other pages of that document. What we have to do to get the grid is click on the data panels here, that button up here with the mailbox icon, you click it and we only need one grid so just leave the first one selected we highlight it and then click options and here you have all the options for that grid and that grid is what we are going to use to extract the data here so we click options and we have to match up our data capture fields to the fields on the table here so we are going to use the delete all button down here hit yes and now we are ready to extract our data. We click on the plus button to add a field and to name it, we go to the name field here, erase what is in front of it and use the same name or a very similar name to what you have on the original table here. It is line number, uh, everything else is okay the way it is, you don't need to set it up further. And only a little bit complicated thing you have here is that description. So let's call it description line here. You know you have two lines here and 
probably you will want to separate the two lines here. And in order to do that, first, when we create the description field, we have to make sure we have the name correctly. And we have to make sure we have the remove carriage return to no, because when it's, it is set to yes, the program will read all that text here as just one line of text. We don't want that. So we just click no, we don't want to remove carriage return. And we have to set up a custom field here. So we just click plus here and let's call it description second line. And what we have to do is on the type, you have to change it on the drop down menu that shows up when you click it. You have to change it to custom. And on here, on the function, you have to click on the drop down, but drop down button and then you want to cut the last line of a column. And that's the parameter you have to insert. And on parameters, you will get another drop down and you can just select any other, any one of the fields you already have. So let's just select description. So that will cut the last line, only the last line of the description field. Now we are ready to keep going. We don't have uh, another case like that. So let's just keep adding fields until we get all of them in. Item ID, it's created. You don't have to press enter, just create a new one. We have quantity, we have unit list, we have unit net, and the last one is code. After you have done that, you just click OK and then close. And you have here on the grid control on the modules panel, you can see you have all the columns set up here for you. Now what you get to do, you have to create the grid here. You need, if you don't see the edit grid button here, you have to get your mouse over here and drag the window a little bit this way, or you can just grab the window and put it down here or something like that. It even, it is even easier to create the grid sometimes. And then you click on edit grid. You will see that the cursor changes to new capture grid. So you're going to use that cursor to create the capture grid here. We just make sure we select the whole table and then we release the mouse button. What you're going to see here is a, a table. It's kind of set up already. We just have to eliminate a few fields and make sure some things are correctly done. We have to delete those ones and to delete those ones, we just get the mouse to the header here the top of the column and then you can either left click or right click it. It's the same thing and then delete column. And you do that for all the other ones. And here we go. It's very easy to set up that. And then we have to move those lines around. To do that, you just get your mouse around the line here. And when it's move column here, you just move it to the right place. So we have code with the code unit net on the unit net quantity on the quantity unit list is already set up and here we go and that description second line we don't need that because it's a custom column so we just left click or right click it and then delete it and now you can see everything is set up correctly but the first thing you notice that is that this one, you can see it's only reading the first line and then that shows up as the second one. We don't want that. And to change that, we need to set up a master column. And to do that, you right click on any of those. And then you have here master column split rows based on this column. For this example, we will use the code column. So just click it and then split rows based on that column. And to change how the lines 
here are split you have to click it again and then you have the option to split over the text or under the text you, you will see that if we split over everything will be separated correctly and we are almost ready to keep going we have to go to the left side of the column left top side and you can see that grid menu icon here you just click on it and you have to set it to use on all pages and then when you go to the next page of the document you can see the table is there already and then you go also to the next one and you see the table is always there and that's what we want now if we click read here you will see that all the data has been extracted and you can see also that all the pages of the document have been read you have the line number here it goes up to 28 but only the the first page only goes to 8 and so you can see all the pages have been read and now we are ready to export or before that you are ready to import all the other files so you would just select all your other files import them here and then you would want to click on first select all of them and then click on process selection here and you would want to make sure you have read grid control selected here and then you would click ok all your documents will be read all the table da data would be extracted and then you would be ready to export so on the scan input tab you go on the on the export patch button up here you click it and you can see we have our pdf to file system export we don't need that so we just highlight it and click on the delete button here click yes and let's set up a new one we click on that plus sign here and that window will show up we we want a txt report to the file system and then we click add that window will show up and here we can make sure a few settings are good for us we want one txt per document but you can have per page or per batch we will want per document and you have to make sure that the grid control module one here is not false it is true otherwise all the grid data you just captured won't be exported on the file and then you click ok on this window we are going to change the, no, the name of the document and the extension of the document you can see here file name what you're going to do is click on that plus that, that three dots button here and delete all the, all the variables here on the variable window what we want is the invoice number and we can see here the doc field invoice number is here so we double click it you will see that it will show up down here on the variable window and then you just hit ok and for the extension you just you can just select all of it and then use csv here and now we are ready to go you hit ok and you can see the export here if you click it on the file system you can see the folder structure and the name of the final file and if you click export now you can open the file you select it and select the module and then the file and then when you open it you will see that all the data that you extracted is already in place so you will be able to see that here we go and that's it now your data is ready to be used on something else where, uh, whatever application you may need that's it guys i hope you liked it and we'll see you on the next tutorial Bye-bye.